Hello YouTube, this is the Rock Cut Review, and today we're talking about something you should be doing if you're not already, and something you should be doing more of if you already are. Eating fiber. Well, that too, actually, eat fiber. But more importantly, smell your empty glasses. So what do we have set up in front of us today? Okay, so we've got four whiskeys already poured. Yes. Right? And I poured these a little while ago. They've been sitting. I slashed them around a bit. Yeah, let's tell the people they can't see. Oh, they can't see. So, starting on my side, we've got Kleinleash, an unpeated scotch. Then, Red Breast Lestau, Irish whiskey. I've got Elijah Craig Barrel Proof and Kilhoman, the bourbon single cask release. I believe that's pronounced Craig. Nope. I believe it's pronounced Craig. I'll leave. I'll get up and leave. So what we're talking about, we're talking about, we're not talking about just sniffing empty Glen Cairns, like just grabbing empty Glen Cairns and smelling them. No. No. That's lame. We, I mean, you could do that if you want to do that. That's fine. Doesn't I don't smell know like. what a clean Glen Cairn would smell like. Not much. Yeah. Nothing really. Mm, we're talking glass. about the quote unquote empty glass after you finished your glass of whiskey. And I'm sure a lot of people have already discovered how nice and how wonderful that can be. But if you haven't yet, this is your wake-up call to discover that. I actually found this out relatively early into my whiskey experience mm -hmm. from a bottle of Belveni, where I just kept that bottle and would just smell the inside of the bottle because it's the only good whiskey I've ever I'd ever had. I was drinking Old Thompson otherwise. Yeah. I refused to throw that bottle out. Just because I would sit there and smell it. It wasn't a bottle for me. It was, I had had a couple of glasses of Laphroaig and then I finally like just let it sit for a while. I came back in the room and it was still so smoky and heavenly. And I was like, let me just bury my nose in that glass. And it was beautiful. So let's let's talk about why to do this. Okay, so let's start with the Klein Leash. Okay. So we've got this glass okay. here. It's been marinating. I'll pour it out as though we had just finished it. And the beautiful thing about this is like, when you smell like the glass on its own, yeah. you get one thing. You yeah. get one thing. You get the whiskey. You, you get, get the whiskey. It's very honey. It's nice. It's pleasant. Yeah. But that empty glass smell. The empty glass smell is not always totally different. Like obviously it still smells like whiskey. Right. But it, there's other things there. There's other things you just don't notice when you're smelling just the whiskey itself. Yes, like that Klein Leash, that's like pure honey, it's just sweetness. This, I feel like I'm getting something a little bit more uh, grainy. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. There's something about just the empty glass aroma that I feel like kind of like strips away that surface layer smell. Mm -hmm. You get some other, or it amplifies the notes. Right. Yeah. Just having the dregs there, for whatever reason, allows you to discover things about the whiskey you might not have, no on the nose, that you might not have noticed yeah. just smelling it as is. And I will say, that is very honey. This is very honey. Yeah. But this is That's also- That's honeyer though. That is very much honeyer. This is, I think, honey more and. malty and fruity. Yeah, there you go. It's malty and fruity. You can get more complex layers out of that empty glass. More one, not necessarily that you don't find complex layers when you're just drinking it regularly. Right. But you find new ones sometimes with that empty glass. Some more complex. So you think some more complex? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Fair enough. But you want to see what the difference is with the red breast style? Let's do it. All right. You know, I was wondering when I was pouring these, could you get the same effect just by pouring a very, very small amount of whiskey into a glass? That's a good question. We, we may have to test that real quick. Right, so that's regular style. It's nutty. Yeah. It's a little, little, uh, 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 what is that? Sherry. Hazelnut. Sherry and ha hazelnutty raisiny. Yeah. I gotta say, that's more marzipan. Yeah, this is spicier now. Mm hmm. Spicier and more of like a confectionery sugar kind of thing. This is the baking spices. Like, that was like, like we said, the hazelnut. It's yeah. kind of your base ingredients. This is the cake. It's interesting going back and seeing if you can discover things you find with just a little bit in the empty glass, and you can go back and discover them 
in the full glass. Do you think you're getting that spice now that you've smelled? It's empty? hard to find. I'm gonna see if I can find it on the taste. A little bit more so on the taste. Okay. I will say, I think I get a little bit more so on the taste, but you get just with that, just a little bit, you swirl that around. Oh, wow, yeah, and I feel like I get like a almost coconutty thing on this one that you just don't get on the nose regularly. Yeah. Yeah. For whatever reason, just that little itty bitty bit seems so very aromatic. Maybe because it's got all that space just to bloom and say hello. Okay then. Hello. Don't get weird about it. I'm weird anyway. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> all right. Some Elijah Craig. Let's let's see what's going on with the Elijah Craig. So far, I think you said it right. Elijah, did I say it right? Yep. I'm sorry. I I meant Elijah Craig. You're a monster. I know. So I think right now I liked the empty glass smell of the red breast better than the Klein Leash. I'd agree. Yeah, I think I may just like red breast the style better than Klein Leash. Period. To be fair. Okay, so I'll let you smell that first. I made the mistake of smelling the empty first, and now that actually smells flat. Really? <laughs> yeah, because I smelled the empty first. So I was like, that's because I smelled the empty first. That's so funny, because you would think this big, bold, this is the C920 that some people in the chat threw money at me and insisted I buy yeah. when I said I hadn't had it. No, because I've smelled that. Very generous, thank you. But yes, we love you. <laughs> we appreciate all of you. Because I've smelled that, like, you know, just before taking a sip, I'm like, oh yeah, that's bold, it's punchy, it's nice. Mm. But this is bolder really? and punchier. You think so? So smell that and then come back to that. Oh, wow. Here's the difference. Okay. I don't know, necessarily think the smell on this is less bold necessarily, but I do think it's different. Okay. I think I discovered that has a lot more Carmeliness, I think a lot more nuttiness, the C920. Yeah. And it has a little bit of a spicy thing. But when you get into the empty glass with just a little bit rolling around. This comes off as flat. This comes off, I think, I'm almost getting like more of the rye spice on this. Gross, no. You don't think so? No. I I'm getting spice, it. It's spice, but it's like, it's heavy brown sugar and cinnamon. No, I get, I get some dill. You're wrong. I'm definitely getting some dill. I mean, I'm the dill detector, so. I know you are, but sometimes, sometimes maybe we just get different things. It doesn't have to be a competition. Well, I don't, it does. <laughs> this like comes off as banana bread to me. Banana bread? Yeah. That's fair. I like this a lot. You like that a lot? We should yeah. just save that one? Yeah. Are we just gonna do that for now? We're not even gonna drink whiskey. We're just gonna pour smell pour it. glasses and, and smell. No, we're, we're still gonna drink whiskey. <laughs> All right, let's get this peated guy. So this is a Kilhoman single barrel. This is a bourbon cask. So you know they use those BT casks. They they bring them over wet, so they can get all that flavor. Yeah, it smells really grainy and sweet. Yeah, that is there is certainly some some grain there. Yeah, but that is very smoky, very sweet. You can tell that that is a first fill bourbon cask. Yeah. Ooh. And I love doing this on peated ones because I feel like the smoke really comes out on an empty. And as we all know, I love that smoke. We want the smoke. Gotta have that smoke. Sorry, it's smoke. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I couldn't tell. I was like, is this the is this the only one we're gonna be like, oh yeah, don't smell this empty glass. This is bad. The thing is, there's definitely been like smokier things. Oh sure. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, and then this is, that's so funny to say because we've definitely, like, gotten more and more smoky in our whiskey journey as we've gone along. Yeah. I think with peated stuff, like, you have to let it sit a lot longer to really get that smoke. You think so? You gotta let it open. Even, well, this bottle's been open for a while. That's also but true. But you think you gotta let it sit in the glass longer? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, just totally forget about it. Forget to wash your dishes and you're like, whoa, smoke bomb. Oh, this is crazy different though. It is. This is way more, the empty glass is way more barnyardy, right? Yeah, it's hay fire. Hay fire, yeah, it's That's a what burning it is. pile of hay. Yeah. Yes, you kind of lost all that, that first fill bourbon cask sweetness and you're just left with burning barnyard. Yeah, in a good way. Yeah, I was gonna say this reminds me of when I worked on the dairy farm and the manure and the, the hay would mix together and yeah. get trampled underfoot. And that sounds terrible and awful, but it's kind of nostalgic for me. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually really nice. Isn't it? Yeah. 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 
Like this is still, don't get me wrong, it's still very pleasant. It's got that honey, but like this just like, shh that strips away the honey mm -hmm. and sets it on fire in a way that I just love. Yeah. That is the the beauty of this, of like experimenting with this empty glass stuff, is you just, you, you do you find, find new things. You find new weird things. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see if I can go back. Hold on. I want to see if I can find that in the nose again. Okay. A little bit, a little bit, but it's much more pronounced with just that little. Just that little bit? Just that little bit. And I wonder if there's something scientific there, like about like if you pour it back and forth, like the oils start to separate. Yeah, could be. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm no scienceman, so what do I know? But I took an AP science class once or twice, like a decade ago. I watched Bill Nye. Who did it? <laughs> but which? Okay, which empty glass smell is your favorite? They're they're all actually really good. Although that kill Holman's hard to beat. Really? I think that kill Holman's really hard to beat, That's yeah. That's fair. I think it's the nostalgia for you. Maybe. It is between the red breast and the Elijah Craig for me. Really? Because I get that. I love punchy baking spice notes. Oh. That's fair. With this one, I'm like, I wish there was more seaweedy smoke instead of uh, that barnyard there smoke. There is a little seaweed there. Not as much as I want. You know what I want. I know. I know. You want the frog. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I think we're going to the red breast. Okay. I think mainly just because that one seems the most different to me. That's true. Yeah. That did make a big difference. Yeah. It did get a lot spicier. In a way that I was really into. Because like base red breast, it's really good. It's really pleasant, very really friendly. That empty glass is like, it's fighting you and I love it. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. I, agreed. I do, red breast may be my set. Oh, it's hard choosing between the Elijah and the red. That's fair. It's hard, but I think Kill Holman won it out for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. So until next time, thank you so much. Go smell your empty glasses after you're done drinking. They're it's, so nice. It's a really nice. Yeah. And... Let us know your favorite empty glass smell. Yes. What? When you first discovered that, were you like, Because I know I was. Yeah. I knew it blew my mind. If you're just now discovering it... Go figure out which, yeah. what your favorite is. Come tell us in the comments what you learned. Yeah. If you know the science reason for why empty glasses smell really nice, tell us science. Yeah, we could definitely use some science in our lives. Yeah. And until next time, like, comment, subscribe. Stay healthy, stay safe. And stay rotten. Stay rotten.